Hello YouTube, the Arachne Swarm is upon us. Welcome back to another Total Battle video. The Arachne Swarm is here. We are going to jump in and attack the Epic Squad monster. We're going to rack up some valor and some experience points, and we're even going to level up our captains in the process. Before we start, make sure to head in and activate your bonuses. Very important. I'm going to turn on my VIP just to turn it on. Go down to Valor. Let's put on our Valor bonus. I think I just hit six hours. Why not? And we'll activate our experience. Turn that on for one hour. Our army strength. And we're going to activate our army's health. Those are all the bonuses. Valor, experience, a must. Army's health, army strength. Now I have some captains that I want to level up. So let's jump into the captains. I have a couple new captains. And I want to get them boosted up. So we're going to plug in Wu Zetchen, the flying unit's health is the bonuses that she's going to provide for us once we build that. So let's throw her in. And then we have Minamoto. He's going to add bonuses for our ranged units, health and strength. So we're going to throw him in. And let's throw in one of our other captains that are of a lower level research. Not too worried about melee units. Here we go. Yi Ho Sung. We're going to throw him in. Now that we made those selections, let's head in and take on the swarm. All right. Let's throw a portal down. For the rest of my clan to use. We're going on the attack. You can send all three of your captains. So essentially what I did here is I plugged in two captains that I just unlocked recently. And I want to level up. This is going to level them up fast. This is where the experience bonus comes into play. You get 100% bonus on experience. And then I threw in this other lower level captain. He's a 16. He can bring more troops with him. The higher level your captains are, the more troops you can bring. So I threw him in there so that we can send more on the attack. I have 324 mercenaries that I just unlocked uh, 400 of them recently in the Triumphal Challenge. And then I have my monsters. I'm probably not going to send any of my troops. And I'm only going to send about half of everything that I can take because all these fellas going to go take one for the team. It's the elementals. We'll just put the full amount there. So let's start the march. Of course, if we attack first, we will get more points. And it's going to cost us gold to revive everyone. Here's the vicious attack the death of our troops. All right, we leveled up our one captain from 16 to 23. That added 7% health, 7% strength. We added another captain all the way up. Look at that, from 1 to 22. The range unit bonus now up 42%. Health up 21%. And our other captain, all the way up to 22. Flying units, ranged units. So let's go check our attack log. Down here in our journal, of course we were defeated. 8.6 million valor, 1.17 meat for our dragon, 18.8 .8 million 
experience. Let's go to the details of the fight. We did strike first, so our strongest squad killed 166 monsters before they were eliminated from the fight. So this means we're going to strike first each time. So we essentially get one extra attack before losing our troops. And these water elementals, we took three out on our weakest uh, monsters that we sent. So now that we had a successful attack on the swarm, let's check out our rewards in the Triumphal Challenge, all under Valorant. We likely maxed out the rewards for the day under Valorant. We checked all those boxes. Go over to the rewards section. We unlocked three levels, eight, nine, and ten. So we'll collect our coin packs, our stones, and our silver, and have a nice day. One attack. Leveled up our captains. A great deal. Got some rewards. Call it a day. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit this video with a like. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss videos in the future. Share it with your friends. And I'll see you next time. Until then, happy battling.